Good morning, Tigers. Today is Friday, January 15th. Good morning, Mrs. Matthews. Good morning, Mrs. Miller. Good morning, Tigers. Students, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, you may be seated. Okay. Today is Fun Friday, and Fun Friday gives us the opportunity to laugh and have fun while learning. And it's also Spearwear Day. Woo! Yes, hopefully everybody's out there wearing their tiger spirit wear or showing off their tiger spirit. Absolutely. And Fun Friday also means <laughs> joke time. <laughs> All right, we're ready for some jokes. Yeah! I'm, I'm sometimes horny. Wait, there it is. <laughs> okay. Are you ready, Mrs. Miller? I sure am. Okay. Um, what does a cloud wear under his raincoat? Hmm. I don't know. Thunderwear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's, here's our next joke. Okay. What did one toilet say to the other? Might have something to do with flushing, but I'm not sure. You look a bit flushed. <laughs> oh, you're getting good, Mrs. Miller. Those are our jokes for today. Well, we had some late submissions of pictures, but we certainly want to make sure that we share these. All right, so a few uh, superhero pictures. First up, we've got Miss Amber's kindergartners. Wow. Everybody looks so nice in their superhero wear. Yes, and Miss Amber's is her superhero must be a health healthcare worker. I love it. <laughs> oh yes, look at that. Awesome. Oh my gosh, what great Spider-Man, Superman. Yeah, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Good job, boys and girls. All right, our next pictures. Are these also Miss Amber's kids? No, these are Miss O'Malley. That's I didn't recognize Miss O'Malley right away as a superhero. Do you think the A is for the Avengers? I think maybe that's correct. Uh, that is a great picture. What a great, look at all those superheroes. Yeah, thanks for dressing up everybody. And we also have Lily from room 12. Whoa! Dressed up, wow, that is very, like a, a, a famous heroine. Lily, you look fantastic. And those are our superhero pictures. Thank you, how fun was that? It was great. Well, boys and girls, on Monday, January the 18th, there will be no school in observance of Martin Luther King. On January the 18th, as I just mentioned, schools, businesses, and government offices across the nation will close in honor of the great American leader, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. As a young person, Dr. King was an excellent student who studied hard. He loved learning. His love for learning made him a great teacher and minister. He taught the world by way of his example. He taught fairness, courage, and nonviolence. In honor of his birthday, let's remember his famous words spoken at the historic March on Washington in 1963. I have a dream that one day in the Red Hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. The best way we can honor this great human being and the hard work he did for people everywhere is to respect one another. Today, 
be kind and respectful to one another. We have some classes who did an activity where they picked or chose a favorite word of wisdom by Dr. Martin Luther King. And in this picture we have, whose class is this, Mrs. Matthews? This is rooms uh, 24 and 26. Mm. Third grade, Miss Arnold and Miss Bluedell. Is there a favorite quote there that you see that someone picked that you like? I like um, this one. I have decided to stick with love. Hate is too great a burden. Wow. And my favorite one is, the time is always right to do what is right. There's, I, I like Miss Arnold's. I have decided to stick with a love. It's the same one. Hate is too great a burden to bear. Absolutely. Yeah. This is my favorite one. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice. All right. So we will see you all Tuesday. Uh, Tigers on Tuesday. <laughs> and now for our words of wisdom. Take a moment to remember the last time you worked hard to do something. Maybe you worked hard on a writing assignment and received a good grade. Maybe you worked hard to save money for something special. Or maybe you worked hard at cleaning your room. When you work hard at something and then see the results, all the hard work seems worth it. And you feel good about yourself. Booker T. Washington, one of America's greatest teachers, believes strongly in the power of education and hard work. Here's what he says to us today. Nothing ever comes to one that is worth having except as a result of hard work. Today, work a little harder and move closer to what you want. Then see if you feel better about yourself at the end of the day. With something to think about, this is Principal Miller and Mrs. Matthews. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Is yours. <laughs>